Back inside the World Arena, Smart One Skate America continues. The pairs free skate, Jamie Sale, David Peltier set to go. They may be the reigning world champions, but they are in no way satisfied with their place in the skating world. Oh, Canada. Having been together only since 98, Jamie Saleh and David Peltier from opposite ends of Canada won four of their five major competitions last season leading up to the World Championships. We like to perform and I think we thrive on stepping on the ice, the heat of the moment and, you know, taking our position. It's like, hey, watch me. And watch with great anticipation the hometown crowd did at the Worlds in Vancouver in March as Jamie and David took the ice. Every element we were doing, the crowd was going louder and louder and it's pretty hard to keep the focus. I remember in our last spin in the program, I just kept saying to him, we did it, we did it, and he said, you know, keep the focus to the very end, and then I just lost at the very end. With a nearly flawless performance, they upset the favored Russian pair by a narrow margin to win the gold. And the strains of O Canada overwhelmed the ice rink as Jamie and David stood proudly on the podium. Recently, Jamie and David left their training site in Montreal, Quebec for Edmonton in Western Canada, close to Jamie's hometown in Alberta. They begin a new season without their coach, Richard Gauthier, who guided them from obscurity to a world title in two seasons. Their decision to move in an Olympic year and change to coach Jan Olmark signals a hunger to get even better. Every year is the same goal. You want to be the best. You want to be the best as you can be. You want to be better than last year. So as long as this is not going to change, it doesn't matter what title you put in the book and you put in the closet. If you still have this in you, that fire that burns inside, that tells you, that pushes you, then you're always going to be hungry for something. Always. Here to represent Canada, here are Jamie Sully and David Paltier. Their rise has been so quick. And the fire still burns for Jamie Sallet, David Peltier. Here they are skating for gold in the first official event of the season. The music, Piano Concerto Number 2, Rachmaninoff. And this number is a departure from the programs that they've done in the past that have had a storyline. This year, they are creating a mood with this program. Opening with a throw, triple loop. Very nice. The danger point for all pair skaters are on the side-by-side -side triple jumps. These are their triple toe loops. The unison is very good. Not she singled hers. a debut program as well. They received first place ordinals from all of the judges. And this has been a terrific event for them the last couple of seasons. Beautiful entrance into that forward death spiral. Very unusual. We've seen so many great death spirals over the past years, going way back to the Protopopovs in the 1960s. of moves in that lift. Very smooth, very confident.
Two years ago at Skate America, they upset Berezhnaya and Seeker at Lita. It was really their coming out party as a team and then defended their title last year, beating Shen and Zhao of China. This is a wonderful move, this pair spin and the transition of him twirling her around and stopping and continuing the pair spin. Very inventive. so finished off in every move that they make. Give it so much feeling. Very difficult ending position. Well, first time you've seen this program. What do you think, Peggy? I think it's very nice. It doesn't have the emotion of, like, the love story numbers that they've done in the past and some of the ones that had a storyline. But this was very nice, very pleasant, very calm, confident number. Well, for me, it had a lovely uh, it had a lovely quality and a lovely romance to it. It was a much more subtle romance, and I, I must say I liked it. But maybe I'm also a, 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 a sucker for Rachmaninoff. <laughs> and it will grow throughout the season. But the, the one mistake in there. A bit of a door opening for uh, Enan Zimmerman what? will be the last to skate here in the free skate. Here is their opening move, this throw triple loop, the back outside edge takeoff. She gets nice height, very solid, a little leaning forward on the landing, but a lot of confidence going into that. And the side-by-side -side triple tulips, which they had trouble with, it was a double that she did, not a triple. He did the triple. And but look at this triple twist that they do later on in the program. Watch the height that she gets. The toe pick right here, the split, and look at where she is. I mean, that's really a dramatic, a dramatic move. David Paltier for Technical Merit. The coaching change this year to Jan Yolmark from Richard Gauthier, who led them to a world title in just two years. Dramatic change in an Olympic season. First set of marks for technical merit, five sevens, five eights. And I, I think these marks coming up for the presentation have a great deal to do with the choreography of the program. Lori Nickel is a very talented, uh, a talented lady. Five eights, one five point nine from the French judge. No doubt about it. All first place ordinals from the judges here. Jamie Sallet, David Peltier into the lead.